dear learners, and welcome once again to Salida Teleradio, right here at La Filipina National High School. Today, you will learn another interesting topic in editorial cartoons taken from grade 7 journalism. Together with your teacher broadcaster, Teacher Carol L. Coraje. And I am your teacher host, Teacher Danica Cordero. Now, I will turn you over to Teacher Carol. Now that we're done distinguishing editorial cartoon from other graphic expressions, which are comic strip, poster, and plain caricature, let's proceed to the tools used by cartoonists or by those authors to present their ideas and opinions through an editorial cartoon. First is symbolism. Now, I'm very proud to point uh, to say that the cartoons that you will see here are works of our firm uh, of our former journalist here in Harbinger in La Filipina National High School who is Bernard Dion. Now, again, as I've said, the first tool used to present ideas and opinion is symbolism. So when we say symbolism, these are simple objects used to stand for larger concepts or ideas. So instead of drawing the complicated concepts or ideas, the cartoonist simply use objects to represent those, just like the guess what activity that we had a while ago. Those images could be used to represent bigger concepts or complicated ideas. Now, what symbol can you see in the editorial cartoon that we have here? Yes, you could find instead of or you could see anti-hazing law as represented or symbolized by a dog while the death caused by hazing is represented by a grim reaper or nikamatayan and then the fraternities or gangs is represented by a paddle which tries to beat a man now it's very clear that the symbols are simple objects used to present or stand for larger concepts or ideas which are anti-hazing law, hazing, and death caused by hazing. Next is the list of common editorial cartoon symbols. Now these editorial cartoon symbols may be used to represent freedom and democracy. It could be represented by a flying eagle while warfare may be represented by a hawk victory could be represented by a wreath of laurels time may be represented by hourglass or a big clock death could be represented by a skull and crossbones o yung mga nakikita natin sa acidic or dangerous chemicals iba may bungo tapos may naka x na buto sa likuran so that could be used to represent death. Also, the Grim Reaper or si Kamatayan at yung sight niya, yung weapon ni Kamatayan. So that could be used to represent death. Danger may be represented by a cliff or falling objects, while hope may be represented by a rainbow. It's a universal symbol. That rainbow represents hope. Next, low pace or yung pagiging mabagal may be represented by a snail or turtle which can also be seen in reality kung ano yung karakteristik ng turtle at snail, di ba? Mabagal sila. So, they could be used or their image could be used to represent slow pace. While wealth and power may be represented by money bags, large and fat people while weak may be represented by a small or thin people corrupt may be or opportunist individuals may be represented by crocodile press may be represented by a typewriter and new generation may be represented by a fetus or a baby now these are just common symbols that an author or a cartoonist may use marami pa so i suggest you do some research to have more ideas about the possible symbols that you could use to represent your ideas and opinions okay now these symbols 
to be considered elements in an editorial cartoon. So in an editorial cartoon, you have to limit the number of elements that you're going to use. You can't use lots of elements or symbols in your editorial cartoon because what will happen is magjampak na yan, mukha na yung poster na black and white. So you have to limit the number of symbols or elements in your editorial cartoon. But we'll discuss that later on kung ilan lang talaga. Next to symbolism is exaggeration. When we say exaggeration in Filipino, this is called pagmamalabis. It's overdoing the physical characteristics of people or things to make a point. Or pinapag-exage natin or we are overdoing the physical characteristics of your um, subjects in the editorial cartoon. Just like this editorial cartoon, the head of Briones, it's quite big, right? Also, the sweat, exaggerating sweat in dripping from her face. And the books, the object there, which was exaggerated, are books. And the difficulty of the students in carrying the books is also shown there in an exaggerated manner or pagmamalabis sa mga pangyayari in that illustration. Now, did the cartoonist try to... What does the cartoonist try to get through in this exaggeration? Yes, he is trying to show that the educational gaps does not just give difficulties to deaf ed, which is represented by Briones, but most especially to the students, the recipient of the service that deaf ed is trying to give. Hindi lang pala yung DepEd ang nahihirapan, lalong-lalo na yung mga students based on this editorial cartoon as shown by the cartoonist. Next to exaggeration is labeling. When we say labeling, this is used to make it clear exactly what objects or people stand for. So, para hindi mahirapan yung mga viewers nyo, especially if your symbol is not that common, you're going to label it. So here in our editorial cartoon, it's very clear na meron tayong tatlong label. Ano-ano ba yung mga label na sinulat ng ating cartoonist? We have calamities written in the monstrous hand that is trying to attack the person who is having knowledge written in the shield and the survival kit written in the basket to survive from the calamities that is existing by the time that this was drawn. So labeling is necessary if you want your readers or specifically viewers to have a clear understanding of what the object what you want a certain object or person tries to stand for. Next one is analogy. When we see analogy, this is a comparison between two unlike things that share some characteristics. So, two different things that shares common characteristics or similar characteristics. Now, what complicated situation is trying is the author trying to compare with a certain analogy in this editorial cartoon yes we have the bird and protecting its eggs so as you can see a bird is trying to protect its egg to spare it from those who wants to attack or take the eggs so it's very clear that here, the situation of the bird trying to protect the egg is compared to how the PNP during the time this editorial cartoon was created is trying to protect those who are involved in kidnapping, drugs, forgery, and theft. And it's also shown there that 
the feathers of the bird was uprooted by our president Duterte. So we also have some labels here, not just the analogy. So those are the two things that is being compared, how the bird tries to protect its egg, just as how PNP, some PNP, tried to protect those who are involved in bad deeds or misconduct. And finally, we have irony. Irony shows the difference between the way things are and the way things are expected to be. So, kung kanina, the similarities, when we say analogy, similarities of two things are shown. Here in irony, it's the difference between how you expect the things and how it went out. So, in this editorial cartoon, it's very clear that the child is holding a shield with the label RA number 7610. When we say 7610 or Republic Act number 7610, it's a law that protects children from abuse. Now, when we say law, it's expected to bring order, right? However, what happened as observed by the cartoonist is the opposite. It did not bring order. Instead, it bring problem it brought problem. It made children or the young being involved in forgery and theft during the time that this was made or this editorial cartoon was made. Because instead of implementing the law for the better, naging napasama na yung mga kabataan. They are trying to protect themselves from being corrected or being disciplined by the adults, especially the teachers, and made themselves involved in forgery and theft. So that's how it shows. So yung opposite sa kung ano yung ina-expect, that's when we uh, that's what we say irony the opposite is happening instead of what you are expecting it to be so again we have five tools used to present ideas and opinions first we have symbolism exaggeration labeling analogy and irony so don't forget those five it's not necessary na andun talaga yung lahat sa isang editorial cartoon na ginawaan mo However, you may use any of them, okay? Now, let's try to go back to the activity that we've had a while ago, the guess what activity. Let's try to assess kung tama ba yung sinagot natin na representation or possible representation ng mga objects na pinakita ko. So, first stop is dove. Did you get the right answer? It's peace. How about the second one? Heart. Yes, love. It's a very common symbol for love. Kakatapos lang ng Feb ibig <laughs> ng February 14. Next is crocodile. Na presento kanina. It represents corrupt or opportunist individual. So in your editorial cartoon, if you want to represent Someone, show someone who is corrupt, you could use a crocodile para ipakita na corrupt yung individual or ang agency. And before we proceed to making your own editorial cartoon, let me give some tips first. Just remember the acronym SLUSH. These are tips to make your editorial cartoon effective. So first is you have to stimulate your mind. Once you're given with the issue or the political issue or economical issue at hand, you have to stimulate your mind by watching television, reading books, or even doing some research related to the issue given to you. Para magka-idea ka naman. Next to S in slush is Label elements only when needed for clarity. So labeling, it's not necessary na ilabel mo lahat. Kung clear na, pwede mo nang hindi ilabel yung element or yung symbol na ginamit mo. 
while you in slush is use universally recognized symbols so universally recognized oh yung madaling ma-identify just like dog diba it could be easily recognized na keys ang nire-represent ng dog s you should have no unnecessary detail so just uh, which is this is very opposite of a poster diba kung you're asked to create a poster you're going to fill it all with designs and colors to make it attractive while in editorial cartoon you must limit the details in it so kung hindi naman siya kailangan or hindi importante hindi related sa editorial cartoon mo wag mo nang ilagay because as i've said there is a limitation of your elements you must have h in slush is one to four elements but the lesser the elements the better or the lesser the symbols that you use the better because paliitan lang to ang editorial car cartoon para may focus sa message or sa idea or opinion na gusto mong ipahayag okay now with the tools and the tips that we've had also the definition and the distinction that we've had about editorial cartoon against other graphic expressions let's try to ponder what is the significance of an editorial cartoon not just to a cartoonist and the publication but in the society at large ano bang significance or importance niya ngayong alam na natin yung definition that's right just like editorial article editorial cartoon is used to express views and opinions of the author or the publication kung saan nagtatrabaho yung author however basically it gives an educational purpose and it is intended to make readers think about current political issues para mag-isip naman sila kung ano yung nangyayari sa kanilang paligid so it's making us think of what is the problem and what could be the possible solution para sa mga viewers okay so that's basically the significance or importance of a tutorial cartoon that's why it has been existing for long even up to now so finally we have here now the application you're going to identify a maximum number of four possible symbols you could use to express your opinion about the online sexual exploitation of children again limit your symbols or elements to four in expressing your opinion about the online sexual exploitation of children now what could be the possible symbol that you could use to represent online sexual exploitation how about children if you haven't had any idea yet you may browse the internet you may do some research watch television in relation to this issue but we have a rubric here to guide you relevance you could have three points if the identified elements are very related to the issue pero two points lang if the identified elements are somehow related to the issue and just one point if they are not related at all to the issue while for the number of elements diba dapat natin ilimit mas lesser the better so you're going to have three points if you identified one to two elements lang to express the opinion clearly kung enough na yung isa o dalawang elements nyo while three to four if you were able to identify three to four elements to express your opinion you could have two points for that and just one point if five or more yung elements na kailangan to express your opinion or idea about the issue again the issue is online sexual exploitation of children i guess some of you were able to identify the possible symbols that they could use already now in relation to this activity here is your assignment you're going to create an editorial cartoon about the online sexual exploitation of children so this is very related to our activity 
yung na-identify nyo na symbols, gagamitin nyo na, magdodraw na kayo talaga mismo. Using the symbols, you just identify to express your opinion about the issue and post it on social media. And please use the hashtag EC on OSEC or Editorial Cartoon on Online Sexual Exploitation of Children. So your teachers won't have difficulties in finding your output, especially the journalism students. Section Wisdom of La Filipina National High School, I would expect you to post your output on our social media group. Now, before you create your editorial cartoon, please remember the slush, the tips that I gave you. You have to stimulate your mind first by doing some research or watching television about the news related to online sexual exploitation of children. So you could give a clear idea or opinion through your editorial cartoon. Don't worry much about how it looks. Kasi baka hesitant kayo, ma'am. Hindi naman ako marunong mag-draw. Don't worry much about the looks. Mag-sketch lang muna kayo kung ano yung ideas niyo at first. And then, pagandahin niyo na lang yan later. But don't worry much about the looks. What's more important is the idea or the opinion that it reflects. Okay? So don't forget to tag me in your post para hindi ako mahirapan maghanap sa mga output niyo. Well, that's all for this segment. I hope you learned something, especially about making your own editorial cartoon. And I hope you had fun in exploring what an editorial cartoon is and how it should be done and how it's used in the society. That's all for this session. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Till next time. That was great. Thank you, Teacher Carol. And thank you viewers and listeners for tuning in. I hope you have learned something new today. And I am your teacher host, Teacher Danica. Hope to see you on our next session. Have a nice day. Bye!